alien Hamish is, well, of course he is, an alien. A Zyganian, to be exact. He lives on the planet Kachahini in the Elasmobranchial system in the galaxy called the Large Magellanic Cloud. Well, that's what the alien translator said anyway. I think it just makes it up, don't you? Alien Hamish works in New Hammerberg, a split-level city on the coast of the country Hamerica. By night he lives in the land city, and by day he works in the sea city. Getting to his job is easy. He doesn't have to drive a car, or take buses, or trains, or taxis, or ferries, or hovercraft, or... Oh no! He swims there! Every day, Zyganians swim to their offices. It's a great way of waking up in the morning. So, what sort of job does Alien Hamish have to have to swim to it every day? Well, Alien Hamish pushes stars around. But not movie stars. Oh no! Alien Hamish pushes around stars in the sky. And not the falling ones either. The big ones. Like the sun. That's right. If Alien Hamish ever sees a star coming too close to someone's home, he sends over some big blue gravity machines, which push the star in a new direction. A bit of a push here, a nudge there, and the star continues on its way, missing other worlds and civilizations by hundreds of light years. So, Alien Hamish is a stellar manipulator, and has been for over 300 years. Unfortunately, Alien Hamish is also something else. He's bored. He knows absolutely every star in his entire galaxy. All 39,422,798,651 of them. But who's counting? He needs excitement, adventure, and really wild things. And he knows he isn't going to get that, moving dull and boring balls of superheated gas around. While waiting for the next project, there's nothing much else to do besides call people. He decided to contact his girlfriend. Again. But Alien Hamish won't be contacting her with a phone like you or me. Oh no. He'll use his mind. Alien Hamish is telepathic. This means that he can talk with his girlfriend just by sending a polite touch to her mind. If she isn't talking with anyone else at the time, she'll be able to answer the mental call. He sent the thought, and she answered immediately. Hi Hamish. What's happening? Hi Hamida. Oh, the usual. Just used a super dense gravity broadcaster to shift the star off its present course. It'll mean Blobos will be safe for another million years or so. What about you? I've got a new job. The Interstellar Conference is going to happen soon, and they've asked me to deliver the invitations, Alien Hibida replied. Wow, that's fantastic, said Alien Hamish. Yeah, I'll be riding on all sorts of interstellar ships for the next year or so, hopping through dimensions and swapping energies. It'll be a blast. Anyway, I've got to get back to shopping, said Alien Hemida. OK, chat to you soon, Alien Hamish said, shutting down the mental connection. Just then, Alien Hamish felt a touch to his mind, and let his boss open communication. It felt urgent. What's up, boss? asked Alien Hamish. We're getting reports of the effects of a gravity well that has opened up in Sector 13. Apparently, the force is stronger than we initially thought. We need you to look into the effect this might have on our galaxy, and the one we're passing," said his boss. A gravity well is a deep dark hole in space that sucks everything into it, even light. Finally, something exciting, said Alien Hamish. I'm sending you the report now, his boss said, then disconnected. Alien Hamish looked at the information that his boss had sent him. There were millions of numbers. Each number meant a planet's orbit, a star's orbit, even the galaxy's orbit. All intensely interesting. Most of them he knew already, so it would not be difficult to find any problems. He went through them carefully, checking and cross-checking, looking at visual representations, graphs, projections, and more. A short while later he had his answer. And it was a very surprising one. He got through to his boss as quickly as he could. Hello, Hamish, said his boss. You seem worried. The strength of this gravity well should pull the nearby stars and planets out of their orbits, said Alien Hamish. But it's doing more than that. It's pulling our entire galaxy off course. What? Impossible, said his boss, surprised. Yes, said Alien Hamish. And it's worse than that. He paused for effect. We're going to crash into the Milky Way galaxy, stated Alien Hamish, very seriously.
Hey miss, drop everything and work on this. I need an answer quickly. You're the only one who can help, his boss said. Oh, think of something, Aileen Hamish said, and disconnected. Somehow he had to stop that gravity well from affecting two galaxies. How is he going to do that? He decided to go for a swim and look for inspiration. He swam back to the land city. It was still low tide, so he went for a walk. On his walk, he passed two young Zyganians pulling on a strip of weed. They were competing against a couple of cronies who were visiting. Hmm, no inspiration there. Then he saw a Zyganian playing cup ball. The trick was to hit the ball into the cup with a stick. It took a lot of skill, as you weren't allowed to use hands. Hmm, no inspiration there. He walked further into the land city and came across a local entertainment place. Maybe this would inspire him. He went inside and watched an adventure about a police officer who won his fight against some criminals by blowing up their hideout. Finally, the inspiration came. Suddenly, Alien Hamish realised what he had to do. It was high tide when he left the place, so he was able to swim straight to work and get ready to implement his plan. He tried to remember other things he'd done that were this dangerous. He'd blown up a star before, only a short time ago. A long time ago, he'd kicked a star out of the galaxy. He'd never done anything like this, though. He reached for the controls and squeezed a button, which activated his plan. Out in space, huge, gigantic, enormous, colossal, dimensional conversion engines materialised around a supergiant star. The machines had been programmed by Alien Hamish to do a very important job with this star. This star was special, as it was about to explode. The vast, immense, gargantuan astronomical engines surrounded the supergiant star in a force field. Imagine that! Then, Alien Hamish pressed another button, and the entire supergiant star disappeared. The supergiant superhot ball bigger than the entire solar system simply disappeared. Alien Hamish smiled. His plan was working. But what was the plan? Across the galaxy in Sector 13, something strange was about to happen. Suddenly, right in the middle of the gravity well, the supergiant star materialised. Alien Hamish had sent the ball to the hole. Seconds later, there was a massive, mammoth, monstrously whopping explosion, and both the star and gravity well collapsed and disappeared. Both the star and gravity well were gone. They cancelled each other out. Both galaxies were saved. Alien Hamish smiled again. All in a day's work. Hamish, that was brilliant, said the boss. All the models are saying 100% success. How did you think of it? Well, I just thought that a gravity well is like a black hole. If you have the right size supernova, you can get rid of it. Like maths, 1 plus negative 1 equals 0, said Alien Hamish. Do you know how many people you saved? his boss asked. Hmm, 94 sextillion, 658 quadrillion, 437 trillion, 874 billion, 347 million, 211,000, give or take? But who's counting? Aileen Hamish grinned. His boss laughed. Actually, you've been promoted. Aileen Hamish was stunned. Really? Yes, but you'll hear all about it at the conference. An invitation will get to you soon. Well done! His boss disconnected, and Aileen Hamish thought about what he said. He was looking forward to finding out more at the Interstellar Conference. He wondered what it was all about. I bet you're wondering too. Sounds exciting, doesn't it?